Good morning, Phoebe at 4.30 today. Told me she had to go potty, so it's been a morning. She's at my parents' house right now. I'm running over to Target because we need a few groceries. I kind of try to do a lot of our monthly shopping for food at Target, just because as far as where we live, it's like really the cheapest you can get. I do like one like bigger trip, usually a month to like two giant, because like some stuff I just can't get at Target, but it's just more expensive shopping there. And uh, groceries aren't cheap these days in case you hadn't realized. Uh, I'm not sure how long she's gonna be there because Scott was on his way to work and they were like, the air conditioning is broken, which is special. So it's not too hot right now, but I think it's still a little warm in the office. So I said like, if it's okay in the morning, like just go and work in the morning for a little. And if you need to leave early, just like tell my parents and you can grab her on the way home. So I don't know how long I'm gonna have free time today. Maybe not as much as I expected, which is fine. It happens. If there's anything I've learned from being a parent, it's expect the unexpected. So last night, Scott picked these up from Marketplace. They're like little dress up dresses. So I have Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, and Tinker Bell. There it is. I mean, they're definitely well loved little costumes, but I'm not really 100% sure how to like clean them up. So I think I'm just gonna like fill the tub up with a little soapy water and maybe just like hand wash them a bit and then hang them to dry. Just, just so I feel a little better about putting them on my child. <laughs> so Scott's office, the AC wasn't working today. So we came home early. My parents are gonna drive her back later, but he usually goes on these little lunch walks with his friends. He's like, you wanna go with me today? I am soaked. Summer is not my season. Autumn, autumn walks, down for it. This, this is getting in the shower because I'm dying. Shower done. I thought I would show you how the dresses are looking now that I hand wash them. I just filled the tub with a little water, like cold water and some detergent and Wiggled them around and hung them up. So I have them hanging over the bathtub and Snow White is gonna need a little bit of stitching. But other than that, I think she's gonna be very excited. We had two Amazon packages delivered. So let's see what got delivered. First is Scott's. These are bowl scrapers. Ta-da. It's a good time to show you my teriyaki sauce. It's a great time. While you're going through that, so I made this <laughs> teriyaki sauce. I don't know if you can see that label. I made it yesterday. It was super easy. Yeah, I had it with the with some salmon last night. Amazing. Might have it again tonight. So, we kind of have, I never really talk about it, but we have like a weekly Amazon budget. So, since I talked about in the last vlog her room renovation, I'm kind of starting to add little things for the renovate. Scott says it's not a renovation, but I'm calling it a renovation. But I'm adding things into our weekly cart that fit into that weekly budget. So one of the things got delivered today, and this is just like an extra sheet set. This isn't like her full bedding set, but since we're doing princesses, this is the extra sheet set and it will be matching the comforter we're getting. So this C CGK Linens had very good reviews. And then the moment we've been waiting for, the Tony holder. It was like, there was a coupon. It was $16. The pink was the cheapest one. The Tony can fit in this side. And then you can put the figures on the other side. And then it also has like straps on the outside that you can strap them in. So the speaker can go this way so that you can still use it in here, which I think is nice. Oh, wow. The speaker holes. And then, yeah, like I said, you can either fill up the middle part or they can kind of elastic around the outside too. That's our current Amazon. <laughs> one thing I forgot to mention last week was we had ordered one of these water pumps. So you can like put them on like big jugs of water to like dispense. But I've seen a lot of people using them on water tables to like put on the top section so you can like pump water through. We got one last week and it was like a dud. But I'm hoping it was just a dud because like the reviews were like really, really good. <laughs> I am gonna charge this tonight and hope that it works. Oh, oh my God, it already works. Okay, <laughs> the last one we had did not turn on. So that is great news. So basically there's like a hose and then like a spigot and oh, that is so exciting. All right, so it does work. So I got the other thing delivered in the mail for Phoebe's bedroom renovation and it's princess decals. 
I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do it. Probably won't. This will probably be one of the last things once all the furniture is in place. But this set had reviews that said like they actually stick to the wall and don't peel off. And they should come off with like a blow dryer if she ever decides she doesn't want them anymore. Also, uh, we got this really cute bag of clothes today off Marketplace for free. I think everything is a 4T. There's this dress that's Cat and Jack. Phoebe actually has the toddler version of this from last summer. It has a different like, it's like a different style dress, but it's the same pattern. This is an Oshkosh dress. It's got little butterflies. Very cute. Got these shoes, they're size 10. She's kind of in between a seven and an eight right now, so maybe next year she can wear these. This is a children's place shirt with a little <laughs> watermelon. I don't know this brand. It says Body Glove, but it's almost like, like a little <laughs> workout tank top. It's cute. And the last thing are these overalls. The brand is Kids Headquarters, and their overalls with like a little giraffe on them. Really, really cute. Haven't braved overalls since potty training. <laughs> Maybe to one day. One thing fell out of the bag. The one that Phoebe is the most excited about. This one. We did use the pump in the water table today and it, I thought it worked. I thought it worked really well. I mean, like it's not like picking up a lot of water at once, but it has like a steady flow and Phoebe liked that she could turn it on and off by herself. So now that we have not a dud, I give it a thumbs up. I never vlogged yesterday. So I'm up early today before everyone else, which so rarely happens, I figured I'd give an update. Yesterday my mom was here and Phoebe didn't nap, so like it was a really early night for her. And Scott and I wound up having dinner together and watching the newer Ant-Man movie because we're trying to catch up on Marvel, which is, I mean, we're still quite behind. So yeah, right after that I went to bed, so. <laughs> It wasn't much of a vlog. I'm going to hopefully have some time to read and drink some coffee by myself. That would be wonderful. I'm currently reading Sapiens. I've been reading Sapiens for like, I want to say two months now. It feels like forever. I just don't have a lot of time to read and it's a very long book for one and it's like, it's very detailed and I don't want to like, it's not a book I can read fast and I, I don't mind books like that, but I didn't know going into it that it was going to be so long and so detailed, so I really am enjoying it. It's just, I'm only halfway through and I feel like I've been reading it forever, but I really have been learning a lot from it. It's just, it's kind of just about literally homo sapiens, how we got here, and just a lot of really interesting things. My coffee pot's making really scary noises right now, and I don't know why. It's been a little hectic this week, so I feel like I have barely vlogged at all, but, oh look! I forgot I was wearing this. This is my mommy shirt I got last year around Halloween time from Shop Mommy Realist. I'm pretty sure she's launching her Halloween release this week because she hand makes everything. This specific mommy shirt is not in the launch, but I do know there's other mommy launches this year and I got another one. I'm not sure when it's coming, but follow me on my Instagram if you want more information about that. I wanna tell you guys I bought an eyeshadow palette I haven't bought an eyeshadow palette, I don't think in over a year, but I saw this one online and like it really caught my attention and then I saw it in the store and I was like, you know what, we're getting it. It's The Feels from ColourPop. This is their um, Target line and I don't remember what the last ColourPop palette I bought was, but it's been a couple years. I don't know why this one specifically, like I think it's this middle shade. I feel like I'm just like feeling this for fall. I mean, it's clearly the most basic palette ever, but. I mean, like, look at this. I am a basic palette person, but I was excited to buy something. And I'm just getting by every day right now. Nothing super important to report on. Tomorrow morning, Scott's doing like a 5K with his friends. They're just like going to a track and running a 5K. That's not like something I do for fun. So I'll be here. My brother's in town for like a day from New York. So he's gonna stop by in the morning and hang out for a little. I just looked down and realized I'm just like covered in splatters of coffee on my shirt. So happy Saturday. Phoebe's watching Scrat Tales, right? And eating grapes. And Scott just went to do his race. My brother's on his way over and we'll see what the rest of the day holds. Last night was a long night. Little one was up till like almost nine because of just like a bunch of stuff that happened. And then I basically went right to bed and then I was up at 5.30 today. So I got a lot of coffee in this morning. And my brother's bringing Wawa coffee, so. 
Hopefully the caffeine hits right today. I mean, clearly. Coffee. I talked about it on the vlog, but I hadn't actually shown it in action. So I drilled another hole kind of in the center here. One to see how this would look. She just likes it going overboard like this. It's fun. Oh yeah, this is cool because we, we can take that blue thing out. I'm not sure what the point of it is, but... Did it stop? Yeah, it only runs for a minute. We were down to no actual triple A's left. So we ordered from some from Amazon. I'm over here filling up the battery daddy. Honestly, one of my favorite things. I feel like before having a battery daddy, it was always like, do we have any of these? Do we have any of these? And it's pretty easy to keep the track of battery inventory when you have one of these. So I just finished up filling in all the double, I mean the triple A's, and then we have all these batteries here. And then if I close it up, the other side is just completely double A's. I find it very useful. We did have two other things delivered. The first here is a doorknob. Let's see how it looks. I wanted a doorknob for Phoebe's bedroom that doesn't lock. I just don't want her to lock herself in. So we just got a regular doorknob here so she can't lock herself in. And then I also got some little bins here because I'm gonna start organizing her closet in preparation for her big room makeover. I guess you could say I have a Facebook marketplace problem. I haven't even showed you guys the thing I got her for Christmas, which maybe I'll try to show later in the day. I'll try to remember. But I was scrolling yesterday and Phoebe saw this on marketplace when I was scrolling. It's like a little people airplane. And she was like very interested in it. And it was funny cause like the day before I'd been like, oh, Phoebe doesn't like have an airplane. Maybe she would like one. And then when I saw this, I told Scott, I put the little people in to surprise her with. They're just ones we already had. But I had shown him this earlier that the same person had listed. So he was able to make a deal for the two. But her Grammy has a kayak. And I was like, oh, that'll be really cool for her to have her own kayak. But also can we appreciate the normalness of the way this Barbie looks? I really appreciate that. And yeah, I think she'll be really excited. She, she did say it when I was talking to Scott about it. And she, kind of knows what Barbie is. She has asked to watch the trailer for the movie a bunch. She'll say like more Barbie, more Barbie. So yeah, I think she'll be really excited. When she comes down right now, she's in the bath. <laughs> oh, life has given me a run for my money. I have a significant to-do list that I'm trying to knock out today. See how much I can get done. Scott is at his sister's house with Phoebe. So I'm just like, go, go, going. Right now I'm trying to collect a bunch of like general decor that's out so I can start making room for fall decor. I know it's kind of early, but I just like don't have time. And I feel like by the time I get my stuff out to start decorating, like I'm just gonna want all this stuff out of the way. So I'm gonna see how quickly I can do that and then move on to the next thing. Currently, I'm organizing cat food that just got delivered from Chewy. I feel like I've alluded to like how time management has been such an issue lately, but it's been like wild. Just the way life has been. Luigi, and they're eating right now. Luigi's over here like ready to go. We're currently just stuck in a cycle. I'm really, really, really hoping that getting Phoebe set up in her own room will kind of help us get out of this cycle we're set, we're stuck in. Mainly because the way things are right now, she's either up at six and asleep before six at night. So like, it's like a really weird schedule to be on or she's up at six, takes a nap, which is like a really short nap in the morning hours and she's up till almost nine o'clock at night. It's just, it's weird. So I feel like she's really getting to that point where she doesn't need the nap at all. But I'd really like her to be on a schedule where she's waking up later in the day and has more autonomy to like play in her room and stuff. Whereas like right now she can't do that. I'm very much looking forward to the bedroom renovation, but like I said, we're not even doing that until mid-October just because of timing. And like September's a really busy month. We have a vacation the first week. Second week is Scott's birthday. Fourth week is Scott's sister's wedding, which is something I get my dress all for. 
So my parents are gonna have her that last weekend of September. So I'm giving them a weekend off and then that next weekend after. We're gonna have two full days to hopefully get the room painted, crib taken down, stuff moved out, furniture mounted to the walls, bed built, set up, the whole shebang. Anyway, my point being is like, she didn't nap again today. And it's like, I was hoping to get some stuff done while they're at his sister's house. But now like, besides not being able to use nap time to get some things I had on my to-do list done, also the, the visit needs to get cut short so she doesn't fall asleep on the ride home. And then like, she goes to bed so early. It's hard because like, my office is the room next to her. So I can't even like get stuff done in my office because I don't wanna wake her. And... I don't know. I just feel like we're in a very stuck time of life. You know, it's not gonna last forever. And like, I try to tell myself that because like, I watch my sister-in-law and brother-in-law and you know, they're in the newborn phase, which, you know, that feels like forever. So like, I, I know I'm, I know there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Just sometimes the tunnel feels extra long. I haven't recorded everything I've been doing, but I'm in the middle of like re redoing the playroom, just like switching things around and the location just because I've like, I'm at the time of year where like all the holiday decorations come out and I usually decorate this side of the room. And we have this castle here. I'm gonna see if I can fit the castle. I don't know. It's all an idea in my head. We'll see if it actually works. He's basically over, just took a shower. But I told you guys I'd show you what I got on Marketplace. So I think this is gonna be her like big Christmas gift this year. It's brand new in the box. I think she's gonna go crazy for it. It's this set of all these different Disney princesses. How cool is that? I think she's gonna go crazy for that. But yeah, I finished the playroom. Um, I don't really love the way it looks right now, but it's just temporary because to put that, castle in our basement we need to get rid of our futon and like it's a lot of we haven't really like figured out how we're gonna do it if we're gonna like sell it or what don't need it but <laughs> that castle's just been like sitting in the middle of our hallway and i just need to get to move it so that's done tomorrow's a new week so see you in the next vlog <laughs> <laughs> 